All right, well, now we turn to the severe weather that moved through parts of our area overnight. Uh, a strong thunderstorm forced fans at Meriwether Post Pavilion to go home early. And you can see why from this video. Uh, these fans were attending a Halsey concert. Uh, they took to Twitter and social media posting these videos. You see the water there pouring through the roof, rushing down the stairs, soaking the ground below. Uh, Meriwether eventually had to cancel that show. News Force Derek Ward is in Ellicott City where Howard County officials gave an update on the flooding. Derek, good morning. What's the latest? Good morning. Well, you know, I, think, I guess if you wanted to sum it up is that they uh, they dodged one here. Now, at the height of the storm, uh, the water here in uh, on Long Main Street in Ellicott City it was about curb high, even though it started falling at rates that rivaled that big storm back in 2018, where you had so much damage here along Main Street, and you actually had a loss of life. Well, nothing like that here, although there were some trees that were down in parts of the county and some power losses as well. Well, and we just heard a briefing from the county executive, and he says that a lot of things have happened since 2018, and that helped here. And there's more on tap, and pretty much the biggest thing that they have to worry about now in terms of a cleanup is from the streams, debris that washed into some streams that are in the area. Take a look at what he had to say. Yesterday's weather has triggered our enhanced stream cleaning program, and our crews will be out here within three business days to inspect the stream channels and begin removing debris. Since the end of 2018, when we launched our enhanced stream cleaning program, we've removed more than 31 tons of debris from the streams in and around Ellicott City. We implemented these and other initiatives as part of our Ellicott City Safe and Sound plan because we knew that when another storm came, we needed to be better prepared. And part of that preparation was a series of tones that go off. You can hear them all over here. And they warn people about high water. And they tell the folks here to get to higher ground if need be. So that went into effect. That helped. Now, they did lose some power. They said at about the height of the storm, there were 3,000 BGE customers without power. As of now, that number is down to about 300. There's also a massive tunnel that's going to be built with some holding tanks, much like that, what they've done in D.C. to alleviate fun, uh, flooding in parts of northeast. That's part of the uh, ongoing efforts to make sure that you don't get any repeat of what you had in 2018. Now, some of these shops are still not reopened from that. A lot of the damage has been repaired, but the county executive says that he's happy that some of these older buildings will be saved, and he says there have been more ribbon cuttings than they expected, so that's a good thing. We're live here in Ellicott City. Derek Ward, News 4, back to you. Okay, Derek, thank you so much for the update.